Alrighty, today we are going to be doing what equipment I use for lawn care and whether I use good equipment or bad equipment and if I recommend it or not recommend it. So first up here, I got this chainsaw. It's a home light ranger. You can see right there, ranger. It is a 16 inch bar. Uh, I've had this saw for about a year now. I got it used off my grandpa for, I'd say, about 30 bucks. I uh, helped him build a couple sheds, take a couple tree downs, trees down and stuff. Um, it's a really great saw. It runs amazing. I haven't had an issue once except for these screws fell out. That's a stock screw. And I had to put a one in there, but that's just from rattling around the past user before him and I. There is one thing that does happen with these saws, and that is these brakes. Your chain brake kind of breaks. So whenever I have to use the saw, I have to hold this back like that for the chain to spin. So it's, I don't know if I'd say it's safer this way or not, because the second you drop the saw, boom, chain brake goes on. So... But yeah, this doesn't work anymore, except to hold it. But other than that, this is a really great saw. It cuts real nice. Sounds pretty nice, too. Um, you don't really have a hard time taking the caps off. I do recommend this. Um, I don't really recommend a pull-on or a Husqvarna unless it's a bigger saw, like industrial grade or an older one. Because now they're just all made cheap, crappily made. So, but that's a chainsaw that I use. Next up is my Craftsman Weed Eater. Um, I got this at Lowe's for, I think, $80. It was about right around there, $80, $85-ish. Um, this is a really nice weed eater. Um, 25cc. Two stroke. It's got the detachable head. It's I got the curved shaft because it's personal preference. It's easier to use than a straight shaft, in my opinion. That's up to you. It's got the electric start feature. Um, I don't have the adapter for it, so I don't really use it. Um, the trimmer head is really nice. You just start it up, and whatever you need more line, you just like that, bang it on the ground when it's running and it'll feed more line out. The only catch with these is my cousin had this problem the other day. If you watched his video, his lawn care stuff, this head got um, a shoe tight for him. We almost have the same weed here except this is a Troy built, but mine is a little easier because I just line this, these lines up with this arrow, feed it in, and then I just twist the line in. Which is really easy. He doesn't run this little guard here. Um, I do. It saves a lot of grass from flying into your feet and stuff. I don't really have a problem like he does getting around stumps. I don't know. But I absolutely do recommend this. You can get the straight shaft weed eater and you get the edger for it. I just turned my weed whacker sideways because I wasn't spending the extra 70 bucks to get the um thing but it pulls over within like three starts so up next is my gas can with normal gas in it um i like this gas can a lot it's really small compact um holds i believe a gallon of gas which when you're mowing with push mower you really don't excuse me wow use that much gas um but i use this for all my gas for my push mowers and even this sometimes so it's, you just got the quick little lock you pull this back and push down gas comes out I like it it's a lot easier than those other stupid safety things really do recommend this gas can up next we have my two push mowers one's a MTD yard machine three and a half horse 20 inch deck Briggs motor um, I like this mower I got it for free 
at my cousin's house. It was his neighbor's. He didn't use it anymore. Put some gas in there. Poured a little gas in the car. Changed the spark plug. And fired right up. I had to put a kill switch on here because he took the handlebar off and then he was grounding it out. So I put um kill switch in there. I gotta rewire rewire that though. I messed up on it a little bit. It's really nice. I like it a lot. This one. I got free from the dump. It's a husky. We've also three and a half horse. Um, it's powered by Briggs 550 series. Uh, it's got a, I believe a 21 or 22 inch deck. I'm not for sure. But this one is also really nice. Um, I've had to redo the pull strength on it. I've had to clean the carb, change the spark plug also. Other than that, wasn't too bad. Um, haven't changed the blades on either of these. Haven't even sharpened them. They're still going strong, but these are two great push mowers. Recommend both of these, especially this little guy. He's old. I like him. He's getting there, up in age. I just fell onto my racing mower. It just started raining, but that trailer right there, it's an Ace Hardware trailer. I think I got it for like 60 bucks, but that was a while ago. Um, it's a really great trailer. The only problems I've had with it is the previous owner, because we kind of bought it, and he kind of used it a lot. Uh, he bent the tongue on it, so he had to bend it back straight, and now that's why the strap's there, is to keep it from bending back. The only other problems I've had is the tires, but they're, I've put those things through a lot. I haul a lot of wood on there and stuff, a lot of weight, and they're kind of tires are dry rotted pretty bad. You can kind of see it there, but they're about to blow out, so I need to get new tires. But I do highly recommend that wagon. It's a really nice wagon, and it doesn't, it takes all the abuse I give it. As you can see, the side right there, it's got a couple dents in there. But other than that, it's pretty decent shape. Um, I highly, highly recommend that wagon, though. If I were you starting out a lawn care business like I am, just riding around on the road with your lawnmower, I don't rec recommend riding your lawnmower down the road either, but it's perfect, okay? You can fit your push mower in there. I built a little rack on the side for my weed eater. You can store your gas cans and stuff in there, so. Now we move on to this crate here that I have all my stuff in. Um, I got my Black Smack Bar and Chain Oil. This is an old wine jug. It's glass. Hold this gallon. Uh, this is my chainsaw and weed eater mix that I run. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a glass bottle in case it breaks or you drop it or you accidentally knock it over. But that's why it's in the crate. I'd recommend getting a gas can like that for your weed eater mix. And you know, I got my string trimmer in here. Not my string trimmer, but my string for my trimmer. Um, I just got this at Walmart, I think, for like five bucks. My weed eater came with string, so this is just extra string I have for now until I run out of string in there. This is my chainsaw stuff. I had a couple files to sharpen my chain, a screwdriver, um, these little things. I don't know what they're called, but they got the nut size to. Um, take off your bar and stuff. Spark plug wrench too. Um, got a flathead on the bottom. This case was Harbor Freight from Harbor Freight. It was uh, a screwdriver set I had. It was actually my dad's screwdriver set. My screwdriver set's right there. But it works nice for this. Fits right in the crate. As long as you don't have your string trimmer in the way. This is some sockets I carry in case my lawnmower breaks down. Um, that's one I'm not using this to tow because I have a whole bunch of tools in there. I just got this $5 socket set from Harbor Freight. Got a pretty decent amount of socket selections. I put this on here because this isn't the actual case for it. So the sockets like to bounce around a lot and come out of other places. So I just put this little rag in here and it holds all the sockets down when I close the lid. The original case um, it's really cheap so I think I broke it that's why it's in here but that just slides in there. 
But these are the tools and the stuff I carry with me. It's a little tight squeeze in there. But that's because got a lot of stuff in there. But that is my lawn care equipment for right now. Getting the deck for this guy. And I have this guy. Um, this would be my ride on mower. I also had the deck for this, but I'm selling this. Or my dad's going to use it one or the other. He hasn't really decided yet. So, well, this is like mine and his. But So that's all my lawnmower equipment. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and turn the post notifications on. And thank you for everyone who's already subscribed to this channel. We're almost at 10 subs in 3 days. Uh, if you're wondering why at the beginning of the video it says like K or A, because K is my cousin and A is for me. That's the first letter of our names. So it's called K and A Lawn Care. But, peace.